appropriate intro for this show. That would be it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, welcome once again to the Sin Shot Podcast. I am, of course, the Mighty Pong. And I'm Crux. This is Zenify. And I'm Forge. Wherever you guys are, you're over there somewhere. And uh, on tonight's show is a very special episode indeed, because it is our 50th anniversary. Our, well, it's our 50th show anniversary. So we're right at about one year of, of being on the air. So we're going to look back at some stuff you've never seen before. We're going to show, I'm going to show you some stuff from CES of last year that I shot before we even knew we were doing a show. We've got a look through the history of our graphics and stuff. And we just, we got, we got, we got stats. We got stats for you guys. I know you like, you like the numbers. Everyone likes the numbers, don't we folks? <laughs> we got yeah, some I, I like numbers. <laughs> That's right. We got, we got all kinds of stuff. So, but first, before we go there, announcement on the shop. Now, this is all uh, 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 supporting the Sin Shop. The Sin Shop is a uh, maker hackerspace located in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we offer tools and equipment that you can use to make pretty much whatever you can think of. Uh, now, we're currently closed for renovations, so you're going to have to wait a little bit to come check out the shop. However, members are currently working as hard as they can to get the shop back in action as soon as possible. So if you're in the Las Vegas area and you'd like to help, join our Discord and check out the, the shop build-out channel to see what you can do to help get the shop back in action. Now, to join our Discord, head over to sinshop.org forward slash Discord. And to make sure that you're notified of our future events, including virtual ones just like this, you can join us at meetup.com forward slash sinshop. And of course, to find out more about the shop in general, you can head over to plain old sinshop.org. And with that, I'd like to introduce our guests who have been, uh, I want to make drums. Okay, thanks. Jen, you can go to the shop and you can make some drums. <laughs> you can do that. When we have a shop, we've got some taiko yeah. drums. There make you go. it happen. <laughs> have drums, we'll stay there and make drums. But yeah, so uh, our guests tonight are, are Forge and Zen, and you guys are the the grand prize winners of guest hosts. What do I get? Ooh, yeah, what, what do we get out of this? You get I, to be on the show in the future. Is this a contest? Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> no. Uh, oh, this is awkward. I, I thought I was getting <laughs> yeah, monetary I thought, value. Oh, oh. Like, Ooh, well, I mean, I, I guess if we're not getting paid, you, know? <laughs> you put that on your resume. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah oh, okay. for exposure, absolutely. Mm. Oh, get, get some, that's get some, uh, some clout. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Think, think of all that internet clout. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think of it because there is a name. But um, so now here's the question though: Which one of you has been on more numbers? Here they come. Hmm. Probably Zen. <laughs> I I would have to assume me only because. I've done uh, duo shows with you, and That's I correct. don't think you've done duo shows with Forge. And I think I've done at least two, maybe even three. You've been on. Do you, do you know how many times you've been on? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's more than double Forges. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe is, it. <laughs> is, uh, someone's been slacking. <laughs> is is well, she at like five and I'm at like 10 or something? She's at seven. You're at 15. Oh, wow. Seven is more than I thought I had. So I know. Eight. Yeah. I yeah. mean, 15 Curious is way that. more than I thought I had. I didn't know I had been that many. Jeez. Nope, nope. You know who well, the... Well, congratulations. Yeah. Yay. Uh, Dang, you know I'm still not getting any money. And I just yeah. spent money. <laughs> now, for fourth place, there's a tie between like... 15 people. So that's not diabetic really that interesting. Uh, but for third place, there's only one person. Do you know who? Ooh. Hmm. Wait, is it Crux? No. <laughs> Does no, he get definitely it? not Crux. I was, like, I was like, wait, how is he third? No, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think there's someone above I, Crux. I thought, no. there was, I thought it was a trick question. Um, no, so, no, Crux, Crux has been on 43 episodes. He's, he's like... <laughs> yeah, that doesn't yeah. count. Uh, I mean, you know, I just can't. a little bit above seven. So, you know, I, I, I'm probably, probably hooky more often, but I guess not. I can't think of who would be Thomas. next in line. Oh, that oh. makes sense. Mm. Tom right. And actually, yeah. fun fact, he is actually one of the people that, that convinced me to uh, hat guy. <laughs> hat You're guy. Hat yeah, guy. hat guy. That's the one. Hat guy. Yeah, hat, hat guy unfortunately has the night off tonight, so uh, Crux is filling in for him. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so, actually, Thomas was the guy that that got me 
like, like I already kind of wanted to do it, but he was the one that kind of pushed me over the edge to do the show because mm. what, you know, we, we were talking actually at CES last year. Mm. Okay. And, and I had just talked to Jing. I was, I was, I think I was t- starting to tell you guys this earlier. I was talking to Jing Jing at the, at the shop and, uh, and she was like, you know, hey, so there's an opening on Friday nights. What say you? You know, you know, do you, you want it? What oh yeah. Do? So did Jing pitch you to to do the Fozzie hour? So no. <laughs> okay. The hour after. I, I the need I need hour. details here. I need the story. Yeah. What was what was the so, inspiration? No. The, well, so the inspiration was that the Friday night was empty, and I wanted to do a podcast. Uh, okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you easy. know, but I was like, oh like, yeah, I don't know. But I knew it was going to be a long term commitment because. Because mm-hmm. these things are a long haul. Yeah. Well, here we are, yeah. fifty episodes in. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and and like a year later too. So. Yes. Absolutely. No. It, that's that's one thing you know in in watching a lot of videos on how to do you know how to make a a, a stream and all that and a podcast. One of the big things that they say is don't expect anything over the night overnight. It's going to take a long time. Yeah. For, yeah. for things to get rolling, and it, I can I'm here to tell you it has taken a long time. And things are still not rolling all the way, but that's fine. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You gotta look at it that way. Uh, but at any rate, so she's like, yeah, you know, blah blah blah. I was like, okay, I'm gonna talk to some people and see, you know, see if there's, you know, if, if, where I'm, where I'm sitting at, and uh, and and Thomas was one of the people that I talked to, and so that was originally one of the uh, one of the ideas was that we were gonna have uh, the the show that he was doing in Detroit. And and this show we're going to kind of like blend into each other, you know, kind of like um, mm-hmm. kind of like some news shows do, uh, you know, one will you know the host at the eight o'clock hour will pitch to the one at the at the nine o'clock hour, and it was supposed to be yeah. something basically like that. Um, that never got off the ground. <laughs> no, that that never happened. Uh, <laughs> I think we were on their their podcast a couple times. Um, but I don't even know if they do it anymore. No. no, and were, for the people that might not know, issues, this is i three Detroit, right? Yeah, i three yeah. Detroit's uh, podcast, and they no longer do. It. Is that because of the COVID thing, or I think it's because uh, Thomas was one of the big drivers of it, mm-hmm. and he, you know, him in the shop. I don't, I don't know, like, like, I don't. I, I think he just decided to step away from it. Is yeah. mm-hmm. where that where that goes, but okay. um, well, yeah, we're glad to have him on. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. I, now, now, what I was counting there was only in the first hour, so I didn't count post games because if it was post games, then that would bump Thomas up. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so. there was a couple well, times where I, I had to go for the post game, and and Thomas stepped in. So exactly. Yep. Ah. Yep. So, um, but yeah. So after that happened, uh, I was actually at CES when I when I had that conversation with Jing, and so I'm walking around, and I'm like. Huh. I wonder if I could do. I wonder if I if I want to do. I want to get back in front of the in front of the things again. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of do. Yeah, and so then I started. I, I was like, well, you know, I've got my phone. I'm at CES. This is like Contentville right here. You know, I may as well may as well shoot some stuff. Um, mm-hmm. now I did some stuff that I never that I didn't end up keeping. But one of the things that I did end up keeping was uh, a a tour through. Yeah, just to keep myself from having to do a whole bunch of editing tomorrow, I'm going to mm-hmm. call it BS Alley. I've talked about BS Alley on the show before. I'm pretty sure you guys remember what BS Alley is, right? Yeah, it's I it's where they have like all the 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 stupid products that you know aren't actually going to sell. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. All right, I might I might have a trail in story to this exact thing, so let me know when I could tell that part. <laughs> Well, that's we'll have to get back to that. No, well, you know what? Go ahead. It, 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 is it okay. like chronologically around this time, or kind of? It's quick. Yeah, just cool. about the the BS alley or whatever. Okay. Um, All right. So picture yourself at CES. <laughs> yeah. So picture yourself. It's me and uh, in the two other times. Uh, members of the shop. Um, it was one of our first times going to CES. Maybe it was the second or third, and we got our little map thingy out, and we're like. Where are we we want to go to the Razer gaming booth. You guys might know what Razer products are. A lot of gamers use them. We right. were huge gamers back then, still are. And so we really wanted to find this booth. We saw Razer listed. We went to that booth. 
Imagine our surprise when we walk up and it is Razor Scooters and it is the <laughs> most sad little corner, like two oh. little cloths on the left and right side. Maybe, I don't even remember actually, there may have been like two or three scooters there. Nobody was there. And that was it. It was like a, just a white fold out table, some scooters. And that was it. <laughs> just like. Oh, okay. Oh, we're in the C- wrong place. Yeah, this was at CES. Yeah, this is at oh, CES. You'd be, you'd be so surprised with with like one CES is huge. Anyone that's gotten yeah. the chance to be at CES, it is massive. Yeah. You don't know like there yeah, are going to be across, companies like, of multiple all types. casinos and yeah, it's it's insane. But I've I've worked for a number of companies that have exhibited there, and sometimes just <clears> walking <throat> through would be like these companies that you wouldn't expect to have a presence. I think like the post office was there one year and we were just like marveling yeah. over like, why is the post me? office here? Mm-hmm. And why is their booth cooler than ours? I don't understand. <laughs> me and uh, me and McNutt, who some show or viewers might know, of, but me and McNutt uh, of the shop, we did a StarCraft game there because there is a booth. It was like the super micro server, like, you know, super micro servers. They right. were doing, uh, they had a booth there and they were trying to get opinions from, I guess, gamers uh, on <laughs> server chassis and what like we would like in like a computer case. Weird. And they had uh, Sean Plot uh, and who that is for who doesn't know is day nine. Uh, like he was real. he's a, a Twitch streamer, but he was really good at Starcraft Brood War and Starcraft 2. Like mm. one of the you know top players, really good caster. And he was there casting live games and so me and mcnutt went up and just (laughs) played starcraft and he's just sitting there casting all of our moves and me and mcnutt are like awful at this game right and so he's like (laughs) okay he's making pylons He's still making pylons. Oh <laughs> it's just like he, he can't like actually live cast because we're just terrible. Oh no. Um, God, it was so fun though. Nice. So yeah, when the yes, that was at CES too. So when your confusion about razor scooters are there, we did a StarCraft mini tournament there. Like there's everything going on there. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We went to a Reese's Cups uh launch. Like just Reese's cups, like peanut butter cups. They were doing a, a launch at CES and we were there for it. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, I'll add that to the list of things I didn't know I wanted to be invited to. Yeah, yeah. right. I had quite possibly the best uh vanilla cream soda that I've ever had. Really? At CES. Yeah. At a CES? I don't, I don't think I ever had any food or drink in any time I've attended there. Oh really? They, like yeah. uh, uh, last year they had this uh the pizza making robot. And a bunch of people were like, oh, my God, it's a pizza making robot. This is a oh. bad thing for some for some silly reason. And uh, and the pizza was delicious. I'm not going to lie. It was a good pizza. Hey, Jim. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, hey, that reminds me. OK, so I'm going to hey. quick, quick detour before I go on with my with with the uh, the, the story of CES and uh, and the before time and about the podcast. I do want to say a quick <laughs> fear pizza sky night. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to say a quick thank you to uh, a couple new followers. Uh, return my shoes, man. I, if I had them, I would. I would bring those shoes right back to you as quick as I possibly could. It sounds like we, someone who stole some shoes. It, they uh, stole them fair and square. Yeah, you know, right. come fight them. They also stole my notification. Where'd that go? Where's it at? There it is. Oh. It's over on the. It's over on the two up. All right. Well, it is what it is. SD Panda, thank you for joining us as well. You get one of those too. And uh, and Crux, hey. Even though he's on the show, he still subscribed to this. Uh, for six yeah, I'm months. using the uh, my Amazon Prime uh, subscription to take uh, Jeff Bezos's money and give it to the shop. So. Absolutely, and you can do that too. Uh, we would love to have it. All right, so there we go. Enough of them. Enough of them things. Let's go back over here. All right, Uh-oh. and there she there is. There we go. Okay, so I just had this conversation, and I'm like, I'm I'm wandering the halls of CES, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to start recording some stuff. And I just happened upon this guy and I'm going to show you the video and interview that I did. You guys ready? Oh, Uh impromptu vlog interview. Let's go. Here it is. Boom. Hello, it is I, your friendly Las Vegas correspondent here. And uh, I may have found quite possibly the most amazing invention here at CES. Is it a flying car? No, it is not a flying car. Is 
it modular technology? No, it is not modular technology. Is it an Arduino? No, it's not. It's better than that. Finally, finally, technology has brought us a way to communicate with a potato right here. This man right here has created a way to interact with a potato. You and your potato can finally achieve true harmony. So this is the world's first smart potato. Because you've got to be a smart coffee machine, a smart toothbrush, a smart toilet. Smart potato. Why? I... I mean, I will argue that potatoes are one of the greatest foods. Who said they can't do everything? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is really the product we need. Yeah, I, I mean, he is so passionate, though. He is. I he's love selling. his enthusiasm. Oh yeah, no. He he stuck to the grip. You'll, you'll, you'll see. The work part is it can turn any potato into a personal assistant. Just think about Alexa. This one is clever because it got feelings. It's a living organism, not a potato. I think the greatest thing about this is just the disbelief in everybody's eyes that is walking past this booth. I love how this guy in front turns from skeptical to just enraptured. I mean, I played Portal 2, this is a thing. This is not a joke. Yeah. Yeah, I use the GLaDOS, you know, system for myself. So you can try to win a potato. Just drop your business card. <laughs> so, uh, does any potato work? A lot of people seem to have submitted to win a potato. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know they were so valuable. Potatoes are smarter than us. They have a single language. Like Esperanto for... Sure. Of course. Of course. And it will work with any potato. But not fried. Not fried. Like once you fry it, that removes the smart. Oh, I just need to be alive. You know, every potatoes have different personalities. It's like right. you. He's so got like a potato example, sticker uh, on his badge, like for the day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You will get nicer answers. Of course, of course. But so does it matter if they're buttered or not? Oh if yeah, DJ Flavor Dave. Butter. That's totally sour cream. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Do those add to the potato? Well, yeah, say, say no, will. Yeah, potatoes are free. Yeah. So you will have some. Oh, oh, it might be. They might feel a little too much. Yeah. Wait, Dude, there, I'm just like watching this. I'm like, you're standing too close without masks. Right, right. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, we will make a smart chocolate with a smart potato. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's first smart potato. Reporting live from Las Vegas, it's there me. It <laughs> there it is. That was the very first thing that I ever shot in preparation for a show, period. And actually, the guy is still around. His, uh, his, uh, okay. What his, is it? uh, Indiegogo, it's not doing that well. <laughs> oh, that's weird. He had yeah, Indiegogo. Oh, man. Uh, 106 was, factors. Was like, did the product do something? Was the potato okay. just like a gimmick, or? A... Yes, it was completely. I mean, I, I can research this, but. <laughs> yeah, sure. No, that's fine. So the point of the whole thing, my, I think, is that. Wait, hold on. There was a, uh, uh yeah, the burn in. Here we go. There was an article about it. I'll throw up in the, uh, in the chat there. And uh, basically, the deal with it was, uh, let's see, where is it at? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And for less, uh, yeah, he had it. He had a kiosk at CS twenty twenty. Set up an end. Uh, okay, hold on. Forty bucks. Uh, I mean, a kiosk at CS is not forty cheap. bucks for a potato. Uh, okay, so yeah. The guy Bluetooth that made it enabled. The guy that made it told uh, Cult of Mac he created the smart tuber interface to mock the tech industry tendency to hail any Bluetooth enabled device as innovative. Um, I I am kind of over IoT everything. Yeah. <sighs> I was over it last year, like, like no. Are you, wait, so are you are you saying over it in general as just like an existence, or just saying over it being like the fad at the moment you want? New, I, I'm like over it. the idea of everything having to have uh, its own app. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, that, that was 
I would I would I would tend to agree, even though I'm like a heavy home automation guy, and Mm -hmm. I definitely buy into the holy crap it has Bluetooth. What else does it do? Um, (laughs) But yeah, no, I think we've got what we got, and that's pretty good right now. (laughs) We don't. (laughs) I so so if I digress here, so one of the things that I'm like, so so my my cat's robot litter box has an app. And while in theory, like it sounds, it sounds great. Like it gives me like some kind of remote functions to just be able to like, oh, they stunk up the bathroom and we're sleeping. So I'm just going to run it right now. Um, It's great when it works. And I think that's the problem is that it's, it's more of like, we need to have this feature versus we need to have this feature work. We need Mm. this to have a use in a market. And I've, I've run into so many products that just like, oh, we have an app, but why, what what do I need it for? Wait, so what doesn't work about it? Is it the... Um, it, it, does, it does not stay connected. It, it is not very user-friendly, and everything already has a button on the machine. Oh, uh, I see. But yeah, the but machine when, when does its job. Building things to a price, a lot of times, you know, you're just slapping on, like, some cheap micro, and the micro yeah, dies I after think, a while. So. I think the, the, the add-on for just the app was, like, a $50 upgrade, and it's, it's absolutely terrible. Wow, that... But, but that yeah, is that is like uh, my own rant for another show. If you find me at the sin shop, I will I will tell you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was pretty much I I think I reached peak IoT at that show at CES when I turned the corner and I saw the smart bathroom. I was like, no, no, my bathroom does not need to be wirelessly connected <laughs> to anything. No, there's no. There's no need for that. You don't want it want to do the tweets when when you, you know, <laughs> nope. go to the bathroom. Oh. You don't want to. I mean, hook if I can your, automate that, maybe <laughs> <laughs> hook up your bidet to Twitter API. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, you get uh, like you, everyone likes stats, right? You, you can get like nice bar graphs and and you look know, that uh, that is a, that's part and, of the only reason why I would ever care to have IoT everything was if. <laughs> I was born and that already all existed and uh-huh. I could track it for my entire life. So at the end of it, lifetime data. how many like nail, you know, beds, how many have, shits I know, give. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how many, uh, all the, all like, how long was my longest beard hair at any given time? Something like that stuff. How like, many shits did I give? <laughs> I have a precise number. Oh, Lord. Is not, is that not the stat you want to know? <sighs> Uh, honestly, I mean, if we're talking uh, data, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, from the chat, uh, Jim <laughs> FYYC says potato mesh, the meshed potato. There you go. That's, I think that's, that's the winner of the potato thing. Uh, looks like the smart potatoes uh, project was canceled according to the latest update. Uh, says Akeen, I mean, you know, canceled. Uh, when I interface one of those blues, two, what's that? Temporarily on pause. We'll uh, well, was it know. canceled or are all potatoes now smart potatoes and you don't know? They're hiding microchips in them. Have what they, if, oh man. what yeah. if, what are if, are they he, hiding a whole metal zone pedal inside of them? He, he probably, <laughs> look, he probably purchased all like most of the potatoes up front, but the project was taking so long that they all went bad and now he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> they went bad, huh? Like, like yeah. how? Like, you know, like, that, like smelled bad, or like they were like, no, listen here, Mister. He left the them, show now. and uh, you know, he lives in like the desert, and it rained, mm. and he had uh, his roof leak, and it it got really hot the next day, and so the humidity in this room destroyed all the potatoes. That's what we'll go with. <laughs> Damn, in in the wow. desert, in the deserts of France. Yeah, uh, in the deserts of France. <laughs> apparently, I mean, I was gonna go with like their roommate made French fries, but you know, <laughs> I guess that could work too. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what they want you to think, Forge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, let's see. French uh, fries are freedom fries. Yeah. They, oh, that was. Uh, uh, they built a good device, says Akeen, and then some executives was like, "Can it text me? I need it to text me." Yeah, that's probably about accurate. Uh, you probably can text you to let you know you're a poop. Ah, you know, you, you drive a thing. Uh, no. <laughs> he makes a... So, so makes it lets you know you're pooping when you're on the toilet. I mean, I you're mean, on your phone anyway, so... Yeah, yeah If and if you're not aware already, then yeah. you've got other problems. <laughs> um, wasn't there a rule at MIT, something along the lines of once a device starts sending email, it's complete. Okay. Uh, the guy is issuing refunds. Awesome. 
so yeah, that was the very first, that was when I was like, okay, you know what? It's, it's fun to do camera stuff. It's fun to be in front of a camera. And so I was like, okay, yeah. all right, I'm going I'm to hey. do the thing. <laughs> Ping, stop checking hey. Twitter and wait. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, it was like, hey, it's because of Potato Guy that we're here, sitting here in our rooms collectively. Am yeah. I wrong? <laughs> no, no, huh. you're not. No, as a matter of fact. So, uh, let's see, uh, it might be gross, the health analysis of... So, uh, should I save that for the post? The poop game? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Yeah, yep. we'll, we'll discuss further about the poop in the post game. All right, all right, fine. In the post game. Yeah, the other right. end of the show. They're, oh, lovely. <laughs> Wonderful. Well done. That is, that is some quality. Are you, are you my dad? <laughs> I, think, I think you're my dad now. Uh, all right. So yes, in the post game, we will discuss that. We will discuss the Germans and 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 poop. Uh, Potato Mashnet says, uh, "Hey, Lean, and, and welcome back." By the way. Uh, all right. So uh, a, a stumble, a quick stumble down the. <laughs> oh, all the all everyone's got jokes. <laughs> Keep it long, I love it. I love it. Okay, so. These are my people. <laughs> all right. I know. <laughs> All right, so uh, a, a quick stumble down memory lane. So, so this show has gone through has has gone through many changes over time. <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Before we go into that, we are at the top of the hour. So, uh, speaking of the post game, uh, for everybody that's watching us on YouTube, uh, number one, welcome to Saturday, and because uh, you'll be seeing this tomorrow. And uh, I said number two. I probably did. <laughs> You guys, Here we go. you got me. Uh, you can't escape it at this point. I can't. I can't. So did you? Did you tweet that one out? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't believe I did. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, you'll uh, you'll see us tomorrow on YouTube. Uh, for the people watching us on YouTube, it'll be tomorrow. If but you're anyway, watching uh, us right now, then you're watching <laughs> us right now. Right, that's that, that is a true statement. Yeah. My point being here that the people on Twitch, you guys get an extra hour because we're gonna go all the way through till nine thirty uh, Pacific time, and uh, the people on YouTube, you get one more half hour. So enjoy it while you can. And next week, check us out every Monday and Friday at seven thirty p.m. Pacific time. On Monday, we got our project stream. By the way, uh, Crux, are you? You're probably not joining us. Uh, I think I'll be on there. Oh, well, sweet. Um, because I think right now we're kind of at a, a holding point at Sin Shop with the build okay. out. So. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. So uh, this coming Monday is going to be me, Titans, and Crux. And we are going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to be finishing up that module that I've been working on for the past three episodes, I think. And uh, Titans, I think, is going to finish up his sequencer. And Crux, you're finishing uh, up your circuit board. Uh, I've already ordered the board. So okay. I'll probably show the board to folks and uh, might work on some of the uh, RGB LED lights I picked up. So Very cool. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, that's all coming These up. ones over here? Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Except like four times as many. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all yeah, going to be... I got like a thousand of them. So There you go. So yeah, so that's all going to be this coming uh, Monday at 7.30 right here. Check it out. All right. So a look back at what we've done this right here is the very first episode right here you see you see it in all of the uh, in the promos if you watch the show video for this channel you will see that intro right there uh but that is the very first episode that we had and that was uh, so close to each other Man. i know isn't it weird like the the next several ones have have pictures of the first couple episodes and it is just a trip like everybody's close to each other no one's wearing a mask it's so weird and that was about a year ago like it's it's weird it, it 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 simultaneously seems like yesterday and a lifetime ago super strange yeah well i mean this year was not this past it's year not, not your typical year no yeah no it wasn't so what i wanted to point out though uh, with this is we did that whole layout what was it forge it was something like like in 20 minutes 30 minutes maybe yeah, we we were all in the room. Um, the, you know, we all arrived and we we're trying to like scarf down any food we could get get a hold of like before that. And we were like, okay, well, where are we going to set up? 
you know, um, right over to the side of that is is the entrance. So we didn't want, you know, people walking in to like un unknowingly be on camera. So we right. had to like set up. We, we had two of these tables and we we're just like, OK, maybe we can put these together. We want to be by the sign. The sign looks cool. And but yeah, it was it was just a matter of like, OK, if we go here, move at an angle, we might block the door. No one's sitting in the workspace is going to be on camera and we'll have the sign. Maybe this will work. Just put it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and it, it was weird. Like I don't I don't remember why in the world I made it four a four three layout instead of sixteen by nine. Like right now you're watching us in normal high def. I remember exactly why. It's oh. because we didn't have a an appropriate camera. I think I think we had a camera that did a a four by three. It was yeah, it was before the first we got episode. a better webcam. We uh -huh. we were working with whatever we had available. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, and after that, I think like second episode on, we started using the GoPro and the Elgato I had, I think. And yeah. that worked for a while, and then eventually it died. <laughs> yeah, you and the GoPro never got along. Yeah. <laughs> so we had, so this right here, this was the very first time that I put together anything in OBS. And the the screen that you see there is was our original screen that, that used to move. And I made that based, my wife uh, went to Adobe Max, right? And at Adobe Max, they have all these things about like, here's how to use Adobe products. And one of them was using Adobe After Effects. And I knew nothing, nothing about Adobe After Effects. But she had one of these tutorials and I watched that and I was like, well, that's not that bad. That reminds me of old Flash stuff, you know, like Flash Animator junk. So I, I was like, oh yeah, I can do that. And, uh, and I made this thing where a little line would sweep across it every so often. And it looks super professional. You can see like, uh, uh, nice uh, little shine. Yeah, absolutely. You can see a modified version of that behind the screen that we got right now. Uh, but that was the first thing that I ever made in after effects. And, uh, and then this was our very first, uh, sin shop, uh, starting soon thing. Right. So. It has a lot less personality than the one now. Oh, it, totally. It, it looks like mm. the exact same uh, thing I created for the Gray Noise podcast when we first started streaming. No kidding. Really? Yeah, it looks so similar. I wonder if I could grab something really quick. Yeah, see if you can find it. We'll totally throw it up on the screen for sure. Because <laughs> I, I, I wonder if like, you know, that happens a lot in music where you'll write a song but you're not sure whether you actually wrote that song or if you just remembered it, but forgot it. You know what I mean? Like you forgot that you knew the song, but you just kind of yeah. started oh, writing. Oh yeah. I, yeah. I have the story of, so my boyfriend, Michael plays guitar and this was, this was a couple years ago, yeah. but he was just, you know, on his, on his computer with the interface, like recording something. And he comes to me and I was like, Oh, I, I just, I just wrote this. You need to come, come listen to it. And you know, he was, he was so proud about it. But little did he know, I was about to crush his dreams because he wrote the Inspector Gadget theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can see it, and I'll bet it was, it, Dragon Flames, you're in the you're in the chat now. He's you, in the chat. You, you were jamming out to it too. I'll bet. Were you? Were you? I, were you? You were so rocking how, like how, docking. How, did, you how like, did you? How exactly did you crush his dreams there? Did you? Did you tell him that it was a thing, or did you just? No. Show them the video. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, so I went through and I was like, that that reminds me of something. It was like, you know what? It reminds me of the Inspector Gadget theme. And I was like, look it up, see if it sounds like that. And so we play it through, and like everything except for like the last two notes is like dead on. Oh um, we, we we came back to this like a couple of like maybe like a year or so ago, and you know, I asked him. I was like, hey, do you still have that sound file? And I, I think he deleted it out of just like spite for the situation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could, I could see it. I could see that, that, that. I could see that working. Like you know, especially if you don't remember that it's Inspector Gadget, I could see it working for sure. Yeah, yeah. and especially because so much, so much of the music is just like there, there's a lot of stuff that you know you go with a specific scale, like it, it's pretty easy if you're in a certain scale to hit a couple notes in like the same sequence. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's only 12 notes, so there's not really that many possibilities. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that, that is that don't get me started cop talking about copyright. I'll, I'll take up the rest of the show with it. <laughs> so one, uh, one other interesting thing about this is you notice that the, the logo is ridiculously blurry, right? 
And that's yeah. because it's the exact same one that you see in the lower right hand corner or lower left hand corner, but it's blown up. Nah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't make another one that time. And I don't know why, because it's like I, I knew better. <laughs> I did. I just didn't do it. I mean, we we had like SVG vector files. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Yeah. No, I used that to make the smaller one. So, I don't know. Um, so this was our uh, initial layout. This was on the the, the second episode because I went home. You know, after after seeing you know what what we threw together in you know like five minutes there, it, it was more like twenty five. But you know, after seeing what we threw together there, like I think that was the only scene we had. We didn't have any intro or anything at all. Uh, so mm -hmm. I went home and like did all the things, put together that background that I told you about earlier, and then put this together. So the way that it used to be is that, uh, you know, we'd have the events over there and we'd have the, the title and all the other information on the other side. And then I realized, well, we don't have, uh, you know, the, the URL of the shop that should be on the screen at all times. We need to have that there. And then you'll see over time how the events changed because, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> things the, the world kind of imploded the world kind of a little bit a little bit of an implosion there now the other fun fact is that graphic the lower third graphic there is still in use today if you look down below us that that information and all that stuff that's the same file only scooted over to where it's only using the end wow that's the exact same file i know yeah. i know i know i've hey. spoiled the magic for you Hey, look, companies use reuse assets all the time. It's no big deal. Absolutely. It's, yeah. It's being efficient. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. Well, it's, it's being efficient. It's, it's being lazy, which I mean, kind of the same thing, sort of. Uh, and also it does keep continuity through the episodes. Like, yeah, there's yeah. absolutely oh, wow. nothing to do with the first episode, but going forward, you can see kind of a continuity. And that's, that's kind of one of the things that I was, I was wanting to show with all this. Uh, oh, again, look at how close we are to each other. <laughs> it seems so weird now. But at any rate, uh, this was one of my favorite things. And this is something that I need to do again. Because that thing underneath processing would cycle through all kinds of different phrases. And it was it was all kinds of fun. They, was, there were some pretty good uh, yeah, phrases. phrases. I enjoyed fun, quite yeah. a bit of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Then you, you've inspired me. And especially now that I have something that's not going to choke on... on, uh, on uh, 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 processing or <laughs> yes the program's name that i just said after effects uh now that i have something that's not going to choke on after effects every time i use it i think i think i got to bring that back for sure um this was the very last show that we had in person because this was right before everything just went completely pear-shaped um the first sim city did that while i was generating the world oh as a matter of fact uh, oh, uh, sorry. Akeen says the first Sim City did that while it was generating the world, which took forever on my uh, 8088. So <laughs> one of the things that was in that loading screen was reticulating splines. Yeah, it was a uh, callback to it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, that, that's 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 where the original idea came from. Nice. That's true. So yeah, uh, but that was the last one. That was with uh, with Shape Daddy. Uh, now, uh, if you uh, are a more recent listener to the show, you've seen a couple of episodes that we've done recently about all the work that's being done at the shop. And uh, that guy right there, first After Effects machine was 80 megahertz. I'm sure it was a different version of uh, After Effects. <laughs> uh, I remember seeing that and being very amused. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so uh, you've seen a, a few episodes recently about me talking about all the all the hard work that's been going on at the shop, and there is a lot of hard work that's been going on at the shop. And uh, and Shape Daddy there is one of the uh, the people there uh, that has been doing a heavy majority of the hard work, and and especially in the uh, the guidance of the work. You know, the he's kind yeah. of the he's kind of taking on the the role of of the mastermind of 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 doing stuff. So yeah. So that's him. I uh, just wanted to, to give a little shout out there and all that. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, it is thanks to him that I got to uh, I got to drop a wall. <laughs> oh yeah. It's pretty exciting. That's awesome. Very. Cool. That's an actual wall. You're not just referring to something else. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Unrelated to the previous yeah. topic. Oh, all right. <laughs> not not logs. <laughs> no 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 totally different. So yeah, this was the beginning of uh, of of the uh, the after times. Uh, this is the very first episode that we did uh, in lockdown. And you can tell, man, like, like especially, like, Crux's lighting has improved dr dramatically. 
Yeah, I, I didn't really have a whole lot of choices for lighting. It was either, you know, the light of the sun coming from up above or or nothing. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, that's uh, you, now that's that's still your GoPro that you're using there, right? Uh, yeah. That this was with the GoPro. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't exploding. Uh, just yet. Just yet. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, uh, you can tell my my lighting has gotten a little colder. I'm not quite sure how that worked out. I think that's uh, because I actually got decent lights. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but your room has rotated around you. <laughs> hmm. Well, actually, no. On that on that show, there was a couple of shows where my where my camera was flipped, and I I still don't know why. I have no idea why that happened. But but it happened. Oh, by the way. Uh, well, yeah, you know what? I'll, actually, I'll get to the audio stuff later on because there's 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 some stories to be told. <laughs> there's some more stories. Let's go. Oh yeah. So this episode here, this one oh, was yeah. the, this was the start of an arc. <laughs> was it? <laughs> this is the episode AI a lot of if statements, and this is the episode that got us our very first copyright strike. Oh um, yeah. Yep. It was so, also our first and was it the only one so far that was pre-recorded bingo that was not live <laughs> yep you got it so actually huh. technically we've kind of done two uh mm. this show was pre-recorded and we didn't we did not do this one live and that was mainly due to zen wolf's uh, that's the the person you see at upper upper left uh he was unavailable any other time than during the day uh so we weren't able to do it during you know on a friday but he was the you know he was the best person i could think of to talk about ai and, uh, and so he, we kind of had to do that during the week and then we kind of showed it and then, then went on and talked about it. But what we were talking about though, was a program called Spleter, S P L E E T R T. Which is amazing by the way. Thank yeah, you guys for this like, episode. <laughs> oh yeah. So, oh, that, did you? That, oh yeah. It still blows my mind. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What, what Spleter does for, for those of you that didn't see the episode or whatever, is it takes any audio file that you have, like a full song, you know, guitar, bass, singing, everything, right? It takes everything and it splits it apart into distinct tracks. Like you were plugged into the mixer. It's ridiculous. So you can, you can pull out the vocals, you can pull out the organ, you can pull out piano, whatever. Now we were yeah, using- I think it gives you like five distinct ones, like, yeah. like a vocal, a bass, piano, um, some something well, it other. classifies as like other, yeah, yeah. Which is usually where like synth and some other things mm -hmm. tend to fall. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so just the the most absolutely amazing software that that I've ever freaking seen is just just incredible. Um, but uh, we were using copyrighted music to to demonstrate it. Now we did it under fair use, and and if you want to understand like how we got away with it. Uh, Tom Scott has a very good video called uh, YouTube's copyright system isn't broken. The world is. Uh, but if you look for that, that's pretty much that was that was the the guiding uh, the uh, the the guide that I basically used to get away with playing copyrighted music and not getting taken down. Um, but they definitely did try. Uh, and we were like, no, it's fair use. And here's why. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, and, and we got away with it. So. Right. We didn't get away with it. We just did it right. But, yeah. 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 I mean, the first key is understanding the rules, which is, is usually the part gets, that gets missed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So Putting you it understand the rules, you can break the rules. All right. And, and we weren't yeah. making any money on YouTube. So therefore, <laughs> yeah. you know, them, you know, taking all our profits for that well, brief but, period of time. But that's just it. They could issue. Even if, even if we had, like, the, that was the worst that could have happened is they would have been like, nah. And then they would have just taken the money that we didn't earn for the, for right. the thing. Uh, but we could have continued to earn money. That definitely was fair use. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It just, so if like you're a content creator and you're relying on YouTube to make money, then some other company, you know, sniping up those profits. Cause I think by default it, like you just stop collecting while it goes into whatever process, at least right. my understanding of it. So, yeah. So when, when the strike is issued, they kind of like stop giving you money. Right. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. once everything is sorted out, then they either give it to you or they give it to them. 
Uh, in this case, yeah. they would have given it to us, but we weren't making any in the first place. But yeah, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, no. Uh, but check out that video, Tom Scott. Uh, YouTube's copyright system isn't broken; the world is, or something to that effect. It does a great explanation. And by the way, if you're on Facebook, for the love of God, putting "I don't intend to make any money in this," all copyright goes to the owner. It, it don't. Do. It's no different than putting "I don't intend to break the speed limit" while you're going 100 miles an hour in a school zone. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're still gonna pull you over. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's like totally one of my pet peeves. Anytime I see that on Facebook, I'm just like, I should report you to the delete your Facebook, and that problem goes away. What's that? <laughs> delete your Facebook, and that problem goes away. Oh yeah, that's really easy. <laughs> so, so that brings us. To this. To some high quality art. Let's look at this. Oh, oh man, I tell nice. you. Oh man, I've spent many a days just doodling on MS Paint back in the day. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. This is from the very first project stream. Well, actually, this isn't from the project stream. I think that's the next slide. Uh, but this was when we were getting ready to do the project stream. So this was kind of my idea uh, because since it's a project stream, it should look like a thing that you just put together, right? So what originally was gonna happen was the chat was gonna be on the post-it note. So the post-it note was gonna stay there, right? And the screen would would be whatever it was underneath it with the people and all that stuff. And you notice that like the sinshop.org for more info in the upper right? Yeah. That's that's like, like a little sticker. And I made the, the one at the lower left, I made that roughly the same size as one of those like Avery labels that you can get, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So I wanted the whole thing to look like we just stuck a bunch of labels on there. That's why everything's handwritten and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that was the original look. We, we eventually got rid of the, uh, the post-it note thing. Yeah, we got rid of that. Um, why did we? I think it just didn't really work out for like layout. Like it kept, I think it was like over the top of things that we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. I was really happy that I got the drop shadow thing looking right. <laughs> yeah, it does look good. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Uh, the color is a little bit off. I could have done better on the on the on the posted note color, but anyway, yeah. So that was the very beginning of the uh, of the project stream. Let's see, have you Forge? Have you been on one yet? I don't think you have. I have not. I you need to know, be. I've been doing all my projects here in my lonesome. I knitted a whole scarf. Dang it! <laughs> well, yeah, you got you got to come by, especially now that. Oh, and 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 I'll I'll try to get this into the main show i'm not sure but the the big chungus has arrived i will tell you all about yeah, yes. very shortly <laughs> uh but yeah so this was let's see i think this was from our very first yeah this is actually from the first one and uh we i don't remember why i did it this way but we didn't have any frames around anything it was just basically wide open and you know whoever was on the main stage or whatever that's it i don't know why we did that hmm I don't know. I, I, you're, you're the Maybe one that was doing the OBS stuff. So. No, no, yeah, no. It's, it's definitely my fault, but uh, I don't remember why I did that. But anyway, I pro- oh, I know why, because I was doing the the whole handwritten thing. Yeah, you know, Titans is right. I kind of do too. I might, I might take another whack at that because I'm gonna have to redo everything so I can get this into 1080p anyhow. So, meh. Um, this was actually the first that I could find where we showed a video. And this was, uh, this is Neff. He was, he was, what's that? Spin tops. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He was the 20. Oh, okay. I'm going to, I'm totally going to screw this up. I believe he was the 2016 screw spin top world champion. I think it was. And this is the one in which, in, in which he, he won that title. Um, but I I hadn't even known that spin tops were a thing when, when he was on there. Yeah. Let alone the fact that there was a world yeah. champion to that. Yeah. 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 A whole, I learned a lot of that whole stream. system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But yeah, he makes uh, spin tops and he actually uh, prints it on a 3D printer and sells them. And so they're pretty good from what I understand. So, I mean, yeah. okay. pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? This was from, okay. Oh, this yeah. That's is... totally a thing that would be at Skillcon, Akeem. Feel like I saw a bunch of this at SkillCon. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Sounds what's accurate. I'm not familiar with SkillCon. SkillCon is it's well 
Assuming we're in a world where conventions actually happen in person. So yeah. send your disbelief. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's mystical land. Uh, it's I someone that's associated with like Penn and Teller, but it was it's held at the Rio and there's you know jugglers and all sorts of things in that genre of just weird uh skill type things so hmm. there's people that do juggling there was uh hmm. they did uh like they had like uh people doing like lightsaber battles uh you know video games i think uh, i was there and we were the group i was with was doing a bunch of vr stuff uh various random sport type event that have to do with like juggling and and sleight of hand and things like that so oh wow okay yeah so it's a lot of fun yeah uh but it's 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 quirky so yeah i feel like if you need a a new uh, hobby to dive into go to skill con (laughs) okay the the niche type of juggling of all right i'm going to juggle but with this type of object that's where that would go (laughs) Like, can you juggle with a chainsaw? Yeah, everybody's done chainsaws. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> so, so this this one, yeah, I, I gotta in you know once we finally make our way out of this mess, uh, then we'll have to uh, then I'll have to I, I gotta check out a con. I like I had so many opportunities to go to a con and I never did, and I, and, and I gotta do that this next time around when I can, and things have calmed the hell down. Uh, yeah, I gotta get I gotta get to one. Anyway, okay, so this guy right here, this was the first time, episode looks like 25, this was when we first added chat to the uh, to the stream. Nice. In episode 25. I know. It's chat. Wow, that far? I know. No, it's it's weird. But hmm. I, I think this was, it was roughly around, it was shortly after I went from using stream. No, nah, you didn't start using... OBS Ninja until like the 30s at least. Well, not OBS Ninja. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I went from Stream Labs to Stream Elements. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because of the shirts. Actually, it's not because of the shirts. The whole reason that we have a merch store, by the way, is only so that I could buy gigantic mouse pads. That's it. That's really it. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. I. It is a nice gigantic mouse pad. It's so mm-hmm. cool. I freaking <laughs> love the thing. Like, yeah, it, it wouldn't work on my desk otherwise. I'd have one. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, clear off your desk and put it down and then put everything That's else back on That's where the monitor stand is. <laughs> What's that? That's, so I have to have a, a metal section on my desk because the way the, the mic bomb is, I use a, a, a uh, indicator dial holder because it's like, instead of having this big tripod, it's just a little thing uh, out of the way. But it's hold, held onto the desk via uh, magnets, essentially, so. Hmm. I've got so a steel that plate. That and the stand and all that, it's just, it's not doable. I, I, I have a steel plate somewhere I'll send you. Yeah, yeah. So, so here's the point of the show where we make excuses to why we don't have a giant mouse pad. Exactly. I mean, at least I have a shirt. I have a shirt. I have three. <laughs> I have three giant mouse pads. I have two from oh. my regular, from my from my game stream that I don't do anymore. And then one from uh, from the Sin Shop that I use for the backdrop for uh, uh, um, for the for the Monday night shows. So yes, if you'd like to see a gigantic mouse pad, well, number one, you can type exclamation point merch in the chat right now, and you can go, you can go you check can that out. You can see the giant mouse pad, and you can buy the giant mouse pad. <laughs> if you and want that, to. That money goes towards the shop. So. It does indeed. Yeah. So you can donate to the shop and have yourself a really cool giant mouse pad. Hey, look at that. There it is right there. And you can help us uh, rebuild the things at the shop that we have destroyed over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So okay, that was an impromptu merch merch chillery there. I did not intend that to to be the thing, but there it is. This I really should have done, done, showed the video because I made like a okay. So we were talking about reruns. This is a still from the uh, intro that I made to the rerun that we ran over Christmas. That's the only time that we ever ran a rerun. Oh boy, Christmas reruns. Yep, and that's what, that's what this was. I was gonna do a clip show at first, but then I was like, you know. Having the whole show as it was was kind of a cool thing to do because it was like that was the last show that we did live, and I that one's probably still on Twitch. That was very recent, I think. That was like that would have been like episode forty-seven is what it would have been. 
but at any rate and then this is this is what you saw before the show where have we come to <laughs> this is yeah yeah exactly yeah so we, yeah. we we uh at first we were like that and now we're like that <laughs> which is kind of cool yeah you know so yeah that was that was our little our little stumble down uh down memory lane and we got the impromptu dog butt ladies yeah. and gentlemen yeah. two of them two of them so yeah it has been an absolute giggle like I have, I've had a lot of fun doing this show. An absolute yeah. giggle. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And you know, like, oh, 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 man! I was, I was like, oh, we have, we have five more minutes. There was something else I was going to talk about. You have Big your new machine. <laughs> yes. So I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but we haven't, as far as I know, at least, we have not had audio glitches this entire show. So far, I wow. Know. Pretty good. I mean, Which let me is know pretty in the good. Chat. I mean, I think this is uh, the first time in all of the shows I've attended with this microphone um, mm-hmm. that it hasn't deepened my voice. So that's exciting. There you go. Yeah, that, yeah. that's you, you actually sound like you. Yeah. I wonder right. if, like, wait, so it didn't sound like that. I every promise time I'm not in now. witness protection. If you've seen the other, <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. other streams that I'm in, <laughs> wait, have they all been like that? Oh, only with this microphone, which I just uh. ended up like resetting the the audio settings i think the bit rate was weird mm-hmm. hmm. who knows yeah, I, i've had it i've had it happen with with the the mark of the unicorn uh uh deck i have here and it would happen if i would close the control software for it it would like change the bit rate to like a default setting oh weird but windows still thought it was set to what i had set it to and so I guess when it does that, it decides to pitch shift your voice, which technology is bizarre. great when it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so like to me, everyone sound, sounded like chipmunks, and then to everyone else, I had like a really deep voice. It's, yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. So, uh, do, do, do. Dragonfly says, uh, "Yeah, it doesn't sound deep." And Titan hey. says, "Yes, someone else knows what Mark of the Unicorn stands for." Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah I, making, I love this thing. Love this thing. It's really nice. Yeah, they've been making audio interfaces since since last he was a pup. I'm pretty sure they made. Uh, I think they made some of the first sound cards, if I remember right. Oh wow! Yeah, like like in the Sound Blaster era, like like a minute ago. Um, okay, but yes, the big chungus. I somehow completely slipped my mind and did not get a picture of the big chungus. But uh, the Big Chungus is is what I don't know why I named my computer the Big Chungus, but but when I when I was buying cases, I I I found the case that I that I ended up buying, and I was like, oh well, this this is obviously named the Big Chungus. <laughs> no, it it had a name, no question. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things it's like no. you just you just name it, and that's that's you you know the word comes to your head. You don't and it's name like, it. This the is name obviously comes to the you. thing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this is called. So. Yep. So all right. So in the post game. I will show you pictures of my chungus. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, crazy! No. If, we, if we get a lot of viewers in the post game, yeah, yeah there we go. We, we, have we got some a... explaining to do and some very disappointed people, <laughs> <laughs> or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, uh, no, but uh, I will. I will uh, be talking about the uh, the computer, which is the reason why you are not hearing complete crap right now, and uh, and I not going to make any promises to this being next week's show but very soon we will be up to our 1080p glory and Ooh. and and it will be will be grand you will be able to see us in all, all of the pixels all of the pixels or, or at least all the ones that we can broadcast oh all man the- do we really want that <laughs> no no we don't but we're going to do, anyway. do it anyways <laughs> that's right absolutely no so we'll do like some some pre like processing where it, like it it down samples it and then like expands it again and then puts like a nice Gaussian blur over it. I could probably do that. I can, there's probably filters that I could do that with. All right. So we gotta get out of here. So if you're, well, we don't gotta get out of here, but uh, for the people on YouTube, we're going to get out of here. We, you're going to get out, whatever. If you're on YouTube right now, uh, you are about to see me telling you what you missed. So uh, in order to not miss that, you got to be here on Twitch every Friday night and Monday night, 7.30 p.m. 
Pacific time, and then you can see the whole entire show. Both hang out with us live. Hang out with us live. It's a lot of fun. Absolutely, that's right. So uh, yeah, Uh, so you're about to see me telling you everything I just told you right now. Hi, I'm the Mighty Pong, host of the show that you just got done watching. Hey, if you'd like to see the entire show and not just the first hour, make sure that you watch on twitch.tv forward slash sin shop every Friday night for the main show. And on Monday nights, we have our special project night. So you can join us, build something, and uh, basically throw stuff at us while we try to concentrate on things. It's a lot of fun. Kind of. But hey, anyway, we hope to see you there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Yeah, so join us over there, twitch.tv forward slash sin shop. I am, of course, the Mighty Pong, and we will see you there. One take. Not one take.